I have convened the church council to see what we should do now. Fixing this church should be our top priority. And I say that as a teenager and the parent of a teenager. Fixing all that damage is going to be very expensive. Yes, barring some sort of miracle. All right, we'll help ourselves. Yet again. People, we need some fundraising ideas. Let's just write to David Bowie again. No, he's done enough for this church. Anyone else? <gasps> I've got the answer. Just let me run this church like a business. It's kind of you to offer, Mr. Burns, but buzz around town is that you're, well, evil. Ooh, that's just a skip rope, Ryan. Believe me, the Lord's going to go for this in a big way. Now, who's with me? Oh, I guess we have no choice. Excellent. Go! Oh, you'll get yours. This is Lindsay Nagel. Don't let the skirt fool you. She'll have this place making money in no time. Isn't that skirt a little north of the knee? You're telling me. I guarantee I can find some new revenue streams. Step one, let's sell some ad space. Reverend, how would you feel about wearing this robe? Hmm conflicted. Too bad. You've already signed the deal. Actually, he hasn't. No. Well, we highly value your input. Until you sign the deal. Let me handle this, Marty. Good idea. I'll be hiding behind that tree. What are they doing to the church? We're rebranding it. The old church was skewing pious. We prefer a faith-based emporium teeming with impulse buy items. I feel like I want to throw up. Then my work is done. Why does Jesus have a lasso? Because he's all man. <gasps> Money changed. Get your money changed right here in the temple. Could not be more blasphemous. Where's Bart? <laughs> Do a nice one for Grandma. Fine. These new pews are so comfy. I am not going to be taken in by all of this. Lisa, don't sulk. You're on the Jumbotron. <laughs> Adorable. And Lord, please remember our infirm parishioners, especially Mrs. Glick, who's recovering from hip surgery. And now let us rise and, um, um... He's not gonna say it. Trust me, he'll say it or I'll bust him down to Thursday night vespers. <clears throat> and thank Crazy Larry, whose big screen TV prices are insane. Nay, <laughs> nay! <laughs> And now to deliver a special sermon on the sanctity of deliciousness, the Noid. <clears throat> That's it! <gasps> Quiet, Lisa. Everyone in the store is looking at you. They should take a good look at themselves and what their church has become. <gasps> Lisa, it's still the same basic message. We've just dressed it up a little. Like the whore of Babylon? <gasps> that is a false analogy. No, it's not. It's apt. Apt! <gasps> Don't you see what Mr. Burns has done to this church? He restored it from nave to narthex. He supersized the pews for the Zaftig believers. He put ice in the urinals. Those are all wonderful things, but they've cost the church its soul. And I, for one, will not be a part of it. Do you want your hand stamped so you can come back in? No, I'm leaving this church forever. Oh, no! I don't know how to feel. You should be very upset. Got it. Ah! <laughs> How is that? A little much. Oh. Wow. Ah. <laughs> <laughs>